Hi, I'm going to show you how to make this little fun summertime necklace here uh, with your little flowers on there. For the necklace you're going to need three strands of your um, gemstones. Um, you're not going to use all of the three strands, you're just going to, you're going to use some of all of them but you're not going to use the whole strand, not even close. Okay, but I've got three different beads in here so for that you need three different strands. Then you're going to need some of your your basic beading uh, wire that you get in your in your basic thread pack. You're going to need your findings kit, and you're going to need three pairs of pliers, um, a pair of cutters, a pair of flat nose or chain nose pliers, and either another pair of flat nose pliers or round nose pliers is fine as well, just to open your jump rings with. Okay, so I'll quickly show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my beading wire. Uh, you're going to need quite a long piece, um, longer than your necklace is going to be, because obviously you're going to be making loops to make your flowers as well. So start off with about three feet, just to be sure that you have enough. Okay. Then you're going to start off by threading on five of your largest bead. Okay, so that's one. We're starting in the middle of the necklace and working our way up either side, which is always the best way to start one of these necklaces, because then you have the option of adjusting the length when you get to the to the clasp end. Okay, so I've got my five beads on there. I'm going to bring them down to the middle of my beading wire. Okay, then I'm going to take one end. So I take the end that's coming out of this end. Okay, of your beading wire, and you're going to go through the bead that's at the opposite end in the other direction. So you're basically creating a a circle of your beading wire. Okay, like so. Okay, that's the beginnings of your central flower here. Okay, now to one end of the of the beading wire, I'm just going to put on a few of my smallest beads, just to hold everything in place for the minute. So I put on about four or five of these. You're going to need these here anyway because that's how you're going to carry on with your necklace. But I'm going to be working on the other end to start with. Now just to hold those in place I've got a little bulldog clip here or you can use one of your, your stopper um, bead stoppers if you have them. Okay, just something to hold that nicely in place. Okay, so pull that tight. Now what you're going to do is this thread that you're working with now, you're going to fold it over your flower, like that, okay, and then you're going to pick up the second side bead, okay, bring that down to your flower. Now what you're going to do is, can you see you've got this gap here is opposite the bead that you're coming out of. So through, from that gap you need to go back around again through your beads to carry on in that direction again. Okay, so I'm going to go through this bead here. Okay, I'm going to pull it tight, just make sure you don't kink the thread. Okay, it looks like it's not going to sit in the middle, but don't worry about that. When you pull it tight, it will sit nicely in the middle. Carry on going around your flower through this bead here. Okay, and through the one at the top, one there, okay, right, and then if you put it really tight, you see that middle bead sits nicely in the center there, okay, now you're going to carry on up the side of your necklace, so now you're adding on five of these beads, the smallest one, one, two, three, four, and five, okay, so that's this little section of your necklace there, so now you get to your next flower, okay, now for this one you're going to add on six of your medium beads. So just thread on one, two, three, four, 
three, four, five, and six. Okay, bring them down. Right, so this is going to be your next flower. So now what you're going to do is you're going to first go through the very first bead that you added of this size. Okay, to bring those beads around to make your next little flower. Okay, just make sure it's all nicely up close to your to your previous beads like that. Okay, now you're going to do the same thing again. You're going to take the thread and you're going to turn it like that so it turns in towards the middle of your flower. Okay, then you're going to pick up one of your large beads. Okay, and that one will sit nicely in the middle there. And now you've got six beads, so it's easy to see you've got your the gap between those two beads there. And opposite, you've got that gap over there. So then you're going to go through. Again, you want to carry on the circle because you want to carry on your necklace that way. So don't go around this way because then you're going to have a problem when you get to the top. So go around, carrying on with the circle this way. So go through, you can go through more than one bead if you can. Okay, I've gone through two of them. So go back through there, position your bead in place. Needs a little help to get there. Okay, make sure it's all nice and tight. Okay, there's your next little flower. Then don't forget to go through this top bead here. Then go through the next one. The last one that you need to go through is the one that's basically on the main thread of your necklace. Okay, don't kink your thread. Okay, there you go. So that's your second little flower there. Okay, and then you're just going to carry on in the same way. So you're going to add on six of these again. five sorry five of them not six five of those five of those so that's your second flower there okay then you get to your third flower which you'd make in exactly the same way I'll show you how to do that as well quickly and just another one so you can see I need a few more of these the beads Okay, so once again you're going to thread on six of your medium sized beads. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's your next flower starting there. Now you go through the first bead. And these beads have got really nice generous holes because as you can see I'm going through this top bead here three times with my beading wire and it's not a problem at all. Okay so bend your beading wire over your your flower again then pick up your central bead okay and then again carry on your circle that way because you're going to carry on going up that way to finish your necklace. Okay, I've got through two beads again there. Put your, your central bead in place and then don't forget to go through this bead here at the top as well. But not the one after. Just make sure you're only going through that one. Okay nice and tight okay and then you're going to carry on so you're going to carry on adding these beads again and so on and so on until you get to however many flowers you want I've done five flowers on there you can do more you can do less you can put them closer together obviously however you like okay and then you're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side as well so add your flowers onto there and then when you have whatever length that you wanted so I've added Two flowers on that side, two flowers on that side, plus the central one with five of the smaller beads in between. And then uh, this necklace is quite short, but I've added two, four, six, eight, 
10, 12, 14 of the smaller beads at the top and then just crimp the ends and add it on my clasp as normal. And that's your little sometime flower necklace.